Nations around the world have been reacting to that UN landmark climate report that issued a code red for humanity. Experts agree that without big reductions in global carbon dioxide emissions, the world cannot win the fight against climate change. China is the world's largest emitter of carbon dioxide, followed by the United States and India. In a moment, we'll hear from our correspondent Barbara Pletusher in the US and Dan Johnson in Delhi. But first, here's Robin Brandt in Shanghai. China is the world's most populous nation, and for some years now, it's also been the world's most polluting nation. Rapid economic growth here over the last 20 years, fueled by plentiful coal, means that China is now the world's biggest emitter of carbon dioxide. It's responsible for more than one quarter of all the greenhouse gas emissions on the planet. Half the coal burned in the world is burned here, and it's going up. China says it won't hit peak coal use for a further five years. Its president, Xi Jinping, says that by 2030, it will hit its peak in terms of carbon emissions. It will be a further 30 years to 2060 until he says this country will be net zero on carbon emissions. China is, though, gradually changing its energy mix. It's investing a lot in particular in solar. It wants and needs cleaner, less polluting air for its people. The government says the world should have full confidence in its climate plan. But it's clear that Beijing doesn't want to endanger, as it sees it, its economic powerhouse by weaning itself off of coal too quickly. Here in the United States, people shouldn't need a wake-up call about climate change from a scientific report because they're already living it. Unprecedented heat and severe drought are fueling massive wildfires across the northwest of the country. The U.S. has itself to blame. Historically, it's released more carbon dioxide into the air than any other country, 400 billion metric tons. Now it's the world's second biggest polluter after China. In 2019, it produced 6.6 .6 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide. But that number fell dramatically last year because of the break that COVID-19 put on travel. And the Biden administration plans to reduce emissions even more. The president is reversing Donald Trump's rollback on climate regulations, and he's pushing an ambitious agenda for a switch to green energy. So he welcomed the climate report as an urgent call to action. Across India, hundreds of people have died in flash floods over recent weeks during the monsoon. And those rains are likely to intensify and get even harder to predict, which could mean millions of people living under threat. So extreme weather is a real risk. And there are ambitious targets here for increasing renewable energy, especially from solar power. But fossil fuels will play a major role way into the future as the country keeps growing and developing and the overall energy demand rises further. And there is a sense that climate change is the responsibility of others, industrial nations like the USA that have burnt coal for more than a century. And while India is the third largest emitter, despite being home to 17% of the world's population, it only produces 7% of global greenhouse gas emissions. So while other countries have set targets for reaching net zero in terms of carbon emissions, there isn't even a date under consideration for that here yet. Dan Johnson there, the international challenge to try to tackle climate change.